There's many questions on the internet about whether or not Verner's ginger ale really began in 1866. We know that before the Civil War, James Verner went to work for a drugstore called Higby and Stearns. And at that drugstore, he was working on some ginger ale. When he returned from the Civil War, he opened up his own drugstore at the corner of Woodward and Clifford in Detroit, and also opened up a cask of ginger ale and began to serve it. But is that really true? There's a trademark application that says that he used the trademark since January 1st, 1880, not 1866. The trademark has been continuously used since about January 1st, 1880. So where's 1866 come from? We know he was a druggist and had a drugstore in 1866. We also have evidence that he was a florist from that same location. And his business card said James Werner, pharmacist in Flores. But he sold many other things there too. Here's an ad for cigars, but he sold hair tonics and dyes and all sorts of different things. So where does Werner since 1866 come from? Was it 1866 or was it 1880? Tax records from 1866 indicate he did have the drugstore. The address then was 219 Woodward Avenue before addresses changed and became 235. So let's look a little bit deeper at Werner's own recipe book held by the Detroit Historical Museum. Inside there are pages and pages and pages of recipes. For example, Miss Montgomery's pomade. There's another one for Werner's liniment. But when you find the ginger ale, it just says ginger ale, not Werner's ginger ale. So the theory is that in 1880, they began calling it Werner's ginger ale instead of just ginger ale. There's also an article written by James Werner as a pharmacist and florist about the purity of soda water being sold in drugstores. In 1866, he ran a classified ad selling a soda fountain that he had at his drugstore. There's also an uh, article from 1867 thanking Werner and his partner, Lahamadou, for the loan of a soda fountain to an event happening in the city. So we know for sure that in that very first drugstore, he had a soda fountain and obviously sold different flavors of soda water, assuming one of those was ginger ale. It just was called ginger ale, not Werner's ginger ale at that time. But once it was, it went all over the country and all over the world and is still the oldest continuously produced soda in the entire United States. If you want to know more about Werner's ginger ale or Werner's advertising or Werner's history, contact us at Werner's Club at yahoo.com.